What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to the closed beta of Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent. Now this is a brand new single player JRPG experience with gotcha elements. So think another Eden, right? Where you have a heavy narrative focus, tons of story and an abundance of dialogue. I tried to chop it up where I could, but that's basically the game. So with that massive disclaimer out the way, enjoy the video. Ah, some voice acting. There was no heaven or earth. There was only chaos. Take that, stranger in paradise. She created a companion in her image, named him Finnis, and with him bore a 13 Churin. The chosen one. <laughs> That's my old man voice. Flamebringer, lead this one the true. <laughs> if you're curious, you cannot skip any of the story. Touch the screen. And we're gonna start off. Ah, come on. I was gonna go for the far left. <laughs> All right, uh, Fiore. She's a female warrior from Ripple Town, which I recognize from the, uh, the original Octopath. Okay. So definitely takes place in the same world. As far as the year, I couldn't tell you. All right, you have been lured to this place by a mysterious force. Follow the blue flame to lead deeper. Okay. Quickly side your finger. All right, I'm quickly doing it. While, tap while dashing to stop. Touch lightly, then lift your finger. Now try to dash again. I did. While dashing, you'll continue to move forward, even around corners. Oh, nice. So right now, my fingers are completely off the control. If you can't move forward, your dashing will automatically stop. Tap an icon and dash to that point. So I press the treasure chest, and my character is automatically running directly to the treasure chest. You love to see. And now if I swipe to the left, once again, no fingers on the controller at the moment. And yeah, she'll just keep on going. And then stop. Is there anything here? Okay, that's just that dead end. And then can I swipe up in the middle? Yes, I can. All right, so you don't have to keep your finger on the controller or the, the screen. Just kind of swipe in the directions that you want to head towards. The music's exactly the same as Octopath. Crank it up, FG! All right, all right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's exactly like Octopath. So, all right, exploit weaknesses. Let's see if anything's changed. Exploit your foe's weakness to do more damage. Experiments with different types of attacks. So you can see that Wolf has one shield and is vulnerable to sword attacks. I am a sword user. I just broke you. So now that you are broken, it will reduce your shield points to zero. Once your shield is broken, they cannot act until after the end of their next turn. This is your chance to do tons of damage. Unleash the power you've stored up to go into boost mode. Once again, exactly like swipe to the right. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm trying to. Okay, there goes the. Very nice. Okay, I am so glad that they brought boost to the... Because that was the very best part about Octopath Traveler, is being able to do the boost. With the perfect opportunity presents itself, go all out with a party boost. Using party boost allows all characters acting this turn to consume all their boost power and attack. You can utilize party boost to assail your foes from t from turn to time battle no more. Dude, I have no party members. I have no party members, but I can do it now. Boop. Boop. Can't complain. Combat looks like a spitting image, uh, a splitting image of a Octopath Traveler. What you doing there? Oh, a little cold out. I mean, you were wearing a short set. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, how that happened. You have been chosen by this rang. Here, let me put it on your finger. Now we are united in holy matrimony. I mean, <clears throat> you are the chosen one. My bad. What do I seek? Wealth, power, fame. Wealth. <laughs> don't care about the power. Don't care about the fame. Just, you know, allow me to buy, you know, games at full price. That, that's that's a, the joy of life right there. Buying a full price game for $70 and not even hesitating. Like, pfft. Traveler, if it's wealth you will have, a formidable foe will stand before you. Yeah, it's called being poor. That's the foe that stands before my wealth. You're about to commence the tale of wealth. Yes, I will. And you can still play the other tales later. Once again, exactly like Octopath. 
Your foes also possess rings of Pua. The guy on the far right looks like the main character from uh, another Eden, like a Wario version of him. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, you got me. <laughs> Something weighing on your mind? Oop, my ring is tingling. <laughs> Why is your ring so low on you? Wait a minute, where'd you put that ring? <laughs> this time you'll get three predetermined travelers without spending any rubies. And I have Nana, a woman warrior who wanders the world with book in hand. And then I also have Jose, a cleric from the distant Red Valley. Connie, merchant and sister. Ooh, a merchant, that's very cool. Number one thing I wanna get is someone that can uh, pick pockets. Pick pockets of everybody in town. That's the best thing to do. You can brag to everyone about journeying with me when I am famous. That's like, uh, I can't pay you with real money right now, but I can pay you with uh, influence and exposure. <laughs> You're welcome. I'd rather have some pesos. <laughs> and perchance you have a name for your merry little band? Of course, it's the waifu crew. Waifu crew, is it? Has a nice rang to it. Okay, so if I want, I can inquire so I can buy things out of his inventory. I kind of like the UI better in the console version, but I'll get... I guess I'll get used to it. And I can hire him if I want for 200 gold. Um, in the console version, you actually had characters that just had the ability to just to hire people, like the dancer and whatnot. Master of Wealth. All right, let's undertake our first quest here. Since he's literally right outside the tavern, that tells me everything I need to know. Hello, flower girl. Would you like a flower? Uh, nah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Since you gave me a pop-up, I'll say yeah. Don't even think about it. Oh, is that your girl? How much? 10,000 leaves, sir. Leaves? We're just making up currency now? Pretty steep for a single flower. It's the powder, isn't it? Oh, she's selling that powder, that booger sugar, that snow. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she's a dealer. That cocaina. Dude, all these gangs in town. Like, what have I walked into? Those shabby clothes make it clear you're no customers. Instead of a flower, it looks like we picked ourselves a fight. Ah, I see what she did there. Pick flowers, pick fights. That was pretty good. I got a team of four here. Um, so I already know how this kind of works. So I have three characters that can make moves. Um, so right now, oh, I, maybe I don't know how it really works. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. I want to kind of spread my attacks out, but didn't look like I could do that there yet. Okay, let's check it out. I'll make you attack there. And you're a sword user, so I'll make you attack there. You're a staff user, so I'll make you attack there. And you are a spear user, so I'll make you attack there. All right, so there there you go. And then you just press attack, and then they just all go at it. Because the number one thing you want to do is just keep them broken. Keep them off balance. That'll allow you to do the most power possible. We'll hit boost all, and then we'll just go crazy. Well, one person will go crazy. Boost is so fun to use. It never got boring in Octopath Traveler. Boosting and attacking, getting all those extra hits in, breaking, destroying people. It's a beautiful thing. No good scoundrels, you'll pay for this. Flee! <laughs> Settle down, pero. Look at this. Ooh, a little pickpocket. We might look rough, but we're not the bad guys here. Hmm. Press X to doubt. We were born and raised in this town and we've watched it go to Shiat. But no more watching, we're gonna take it back. And it all starts with us stealing this ticket to the ball. If you can't see how it all comes together, that's your fault. What do you say, wanna join us? Sure dude, whatever. For the family! Yeah, baby! Now where's my 10 second car? <laughs> oh, we got gang signs for throwing up everything. Dude, I didn't know I, threw, I just joined a gang. Have you heard the rumors of Lady Hermione? I heard she's the one who killed off the last of the forest people. No, not the forest people. That witch could even buy men's souls. Yeah, that's not a high price. <laughs> that's not the most expensive thing. Should have went with something else. Oh, there she is, looking at herself in the mirror. Lady Hermione, the per the preparations for the ball are complete then. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why she has a at the end of her words, but it just felt right. I picked her because I wanted her on my team. I didn't pick her for her to be like the first boss for me to, to attack. Um, for right now, I'm just going to go straight to that. So you got a weapon store here. You got this guy with a red box. What does that mean? The town's main street straight ahead. Travelers tend to stay out there. Be careful. All right. So let's go ahead and leave this zone and head on over to our quest location. Nice vibe, dude. I'm like feeling the, the music. 
quite a bit. It's very, very chill. Town looks great. Graphics look great. Definitely like another, you know, another Eden kind of kind of vibe where um, it's trying to be a single player JRPG first with an extra added gotcha for good measure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to go attack that. Um, all right, I can just attack you straight up. See if we can. Oops, see you later. <laughs> Never mind. I was like, all right, let me see if I can figure out your weakness. Uh, maybe next fight. All right, so there's a treasure chest right there, and there is a little marmot. I believe. Elite enemies. Elite enemies are difficult opponents who refuse to hide themselves. Ah, so these are enemies that you see in the map. Defeat them and you'll get extravagant rewards. Come here, you little marmot. FG knows names of things? I thought you guys knew. Thought you knew. Alright, so his weakness is sword and um, staff, but I need to heal. So let's go ahead and heal. That's going to take my staff out. Um, but I got two hits there and a spear. What else can you do? You can do fired up so you can not see a little bit. We'll see what that does. Basic attack. You are now broken. Nice little heal there. And here comes not too fired up. Oh, that's a taunt. Um, while you're broken, we're just going to go all out. Do I have any sword attacks? Ooh, guillotine. Slice. Um, I'm going to go heal again because I think if it's like Octopath... Um, you don't heal between battles? I meant to go boost. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Oh, dude, you got five? So check this out. Uh, we can still just go crazy here. All right, I got no more... Withering Oracle. I don't know what that does at the moment, but we're going to find out. Okay, boost everybody. Let's go. We'll break you in the first attack here. Oh, not quite. There's the break. Everyone else is just going to have free reign. Element defense down. Not very useful at the moment. Um, I really need a heal. Like an Oh, there's a times two speed. Oh, turn on time. I didn't even feel it. Dude, you guys know. If FG doesn't feel like the game is slow, that's a good thing. Because usually I'm looking for... I'm looking for a times two speed with the quickness. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Dude, I was looking for like uh, items. Cause I'm taking a lot of Dumage and that's only single target, huh? Ouch, you hit like really hard. I have to turn on my RPG skills a little bit. You got three hits. Um, I think it's worth it. Now nah, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Because I have all of my turns before he goes. I broke him, his turn is done. And now let's go fully boost all the way out. <laughs> Dude, I love the boost. The boost is the best. Dude, what's going on with Windows? Uh Ouch. Uh, but we're good, though. We can break you this turn. Um, we don't actually need our staff. Oh, we are low. I don't have, like, a... There's no items? Like, I want to pop, like, a, <laughs> some SP potions or something. <laughs> Am I playing the right game? All right, let's go ahead and break again. Dude, we might die on this first boss encounter. I should have bought some... See, if, dude, if I was really playing, I'd have absolutely bought some things out of the weapon store. Oh, man. Well, we're, we should still be fine. Yeah, we're good. Because next turn, I'll be able to break him again. Then we'll go all the way out. And we're good to go. The mighty Marmot stands ready. Man, you ain't get no turn. <laughs> Broken. See you later. And then this turn, it's over. Boost all. That's going to be a GG. First boss is down, my friends. Slightly harder than I thought it would be. That's what she said. Yeah. All right. Learning skills. Uh, so, job points. Tap on party, learn skills. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that immediately. So, party. Um, try teams with different travelers. Well, this is all I have at the moment. So, this is going to do. Um, let's go to Nana here. Um, learn skills. Nana. Um, one star, two star, three star. 
I can increase the amount of SP she has. I have two JP points at the moment. That cost me one. Um, I can increase my HP. I can increase my own P defense. I'll just go ahead and do that. And then same thing here. Uh, Flory can go all the way up to like a five-star veteran warrior. I'm not sure exactly what all this means, but probably has something to do with, uh, you know, duplicates, I would assume, since this still is a gotcha. Okay. So I've used all of my JP points. And then as far as the party's concerned, so no. Um, so since this game... Oh, no! <laughs> Right, that's a good start anyway. All right, so a nice quick look at the closed bait of Octopath Traveler. Very story driven, but the combat, my friend, the combat is pure Octopath Traveler. Um, so you definitely love to see it. If you were a fan of like another Eden, I can definitely see that this game just might be for you. So that will do it. Once again, my name is FG3000. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.